my name is Lindy. Welcome to the Pause Area. This is a place where we strive to make everyday moves that will help us win with our finances. Well, a lot of people say that the grocery part or going out or the food part of their budget is the area that they struggle with the most. Look, I'm also a culprit. Sometimes I overspend. And, you know, there was an uh, interesting um, conversation that was out on Instagram, I think, back in in Feb by a lady called Joya. So Joya Kumalo is a fitness uh, bunny or someone that, you know, advocates for healthy living and exercise. And on her timeline, she put out a questionnaire or a survey on how much people actually spend on their groceries per month. Look, that was so shocking, but it, it sort of, you know, inspired an interesting conversation to say, how much really do you think you spend? So please comment down below and tell us how much you spend and where you think you take that money to. But in any case, the results or the most popular results where people say, I'm a single person where I live alone. And most of them said they spend between two and three thousand. And the people that were in families, either families of four or five or more, the amounts sort of range between four or five thousand to about nine thousand. Look, the way extreme people that said eleven thousand, I'm saying extreme because really it's like eleven thousand is someone's salary. I'm not judging, but it's a, you know, it's an interesting aspect to say, do people People really spend that much on food so in any case we then at the pause area you know thought let's give out three tips that we think you can consider as a consumer as someone that needs to save on their budget uh, when it comes to groceries that you can consider so number one is the shopping list you know that is very important because I think a lot of people go into the store and you know you just browse there maybe you're hungry and maybe you're thinking of a recipe that you saw online that you want to try and then you end up start picking things putting them putting them in the trolley and in some cases when you get to the trolley and you see the amount going up and up I don't know how many people are actually brave enough to tell the teller that look sissy I can't take this anymore please put it back but most people will actually you know continue with it and pay for it and because of doing that then you tend to overspend because you went to a jungle <laughs> literally with your money with no plan and you know life happened in that store and you ended up taking things more than the things that you needed so definitely definitely consider uh, taking uh, um writing down a shopping list and do it beforehand you know just put a time when you put your budget down when you write down your budget look at the house spend time in the house and say this is what we have this is what i need to uh, add on and replenish and then go to the shops when you have that strategy and work on it okay number two compare shops look this is not a popular one and i know a lot of my friends will be like i'm being extreme but it's actually something that i do so what i mean by compare uh, stores is um there are those store papers that you can get either in store or in some areas and complexes you'll have a weekly or a monthly paper free paper that they put out and then they fill it up with um shopping um or store brochures and pamphlets that will tell you what specials they have at that store from whatever time it is. I sit down with those from Pick and Pay, ShopRite, Woolworths, um, and sometimes I include game, write down based on my shopping list and the things that I need to get for that month, I start looking at where the specials are. And then I will write down on my list that, okay, I need Oros, I need Omo, I need oil, I'm going to go get them at Pick and Pay because for this month they're cheap. And then I'll say I need fish, I need bread, I need maybe vegetables at Game, or I need to go buy fruits and vegetables at Woolworths. And then I'll say, okay, if I need X, Y, Z from Checkers, I write it down. And Obviously, that is a very tedious exercise and you actually need time to be able to literally walk into each store with your book and your shopping list and get all the items that you want. But generally, I would suggest going to a shopping complex or a mall that has all those stores in one area. So, for example, the one I can think of from the top of my mind would be Mall of Africa. Um, Mall of Africa would have Pick and Pay, Woolworths, Checkers, Game, Discam and Clicks all in the same area. So I know I'm going to get soap either at Clicks or Discam and then I start walking around the store one by one getting all the things that I need. A lot of people will say, look, do you really do save? When you look at the 10 rents that you save there, the 15 rents that you save there, for a person that might be spending 11,000, 9,000 on groceries, you might be surprised that maybe you might save 1,000 or 2,000 that you can put in a tax-free savings account and gain money on it. So yeah, number two is worth considering. And then the last one would be 
buying in bulk. So buy in bulk is very good for those items that you know will not, you know, expire or won't go to waste like, you know, your fruits and your vegetables. You can't really buy those in bulk because they have a low shelf life. But things like your cosmetics, your oils, your oils, sorry, salt, flour, mealy meal, those things you actually can buy in bulk. So I would suggest going to a shop like Macro. Um, if you can, you can consider going to Jumbo in Job CBD or Cash and Carry or other areas that will sell, you know, items in bulk. And then rather, you know, stock up. I know I do that a lot when it comes to Black Friday, but I know Black Friday in 2020 was tricky because not so many items were where those were really that cheap. But if I know like a, a 18 toilet paper or you know toilet, a pack of toilet paper, or I think it's 19 in the pack, 18 or 19, I could be wrong, in a pack goes for around 120 when you're looking at twin saver. But if you get it at 80 rands or if you can go to Clicks and Woolworths, and I know they have monthly specials on toilet paper, that's worth you buying two, three rolls of it, store it, obviously, if you've got space in your house, and make sure that you don't need to spend um, that on a regular basis. That could actually help you cut down on your grocery shopping. So look, let's start the conversation on our comments area, comment areas, and let's share tips, you know, with one another of, what you think you um, can save money on when it comes to your grocery shopping. Thank you so much and see you on another episode of The Pause Area. Take care.